All right, so here's my next project. This is Adam LZ. This is his um, his garage. And so I've always had this dream of being able to design garages. And, I, you know, of course, I've designed my own. Here's his 240, the Mini, the Miata's out here. I'm sure he's gonna want me to try to figure out how to fit the fourth car in, in here. Um, but we're gonna talk through sort of garage design and how to make this look super sweet, super sweet. That we have the typical old lady <laughs> um, chip system. You know why they do this, these chips um, is- Does it help the compound like retain better? No, uh, the reason why they do it is because if you just roll out the floor, then it looks like crap. Like you see all the roller marks, you see all the lines. So the chips are just to take your attention away from the crappy way that the floor looks. Because it doesn't self-level. I learned that because I did it. We did it without the chips and it was all funky looking. So, but this is gonna be great because when we put flooring over top of this, one, it'll, it'll make it look, you know, make it look nice underneath the flooring. And you can see you're already making marks on the floor yeah. and what will happen is, is this will start to depending on how good it is and how long it'll last I suspect you know, usually construction grade is not you know they, they probably spent 1200 bucks painting this you know to, to do this right to do epoxy right costs a lot more um, but what will happen is you come in from the road and your tires will will sort of bond to the paint and it'll start to bubble up you know start to make marks but um, the other thing that's annoying is see you got leaves See how leaves eventually, when you have this all dialed in and everything looks good, see how leaves make their way all the way back? Yeah. Well, when we do Swiss tracks, they won't make it past here. So they'll, they'll make it to here and then that's it, which is, I mean, you probably don't care, but I do. No. I want it to look, I want it to look, look a certain way. So the great part about Adam's garage that I'm super excited about is if this is 30 feet from left to right, so we have 30 feet to work with and then we have tons of wall space. The other great part about it is normally in Florida, this isn't finished. So we have stucco finish that we won't have to do anything to to make it look great. In fact, I don't even think I would paint this. I just leave it white, leave yeah. it off white like this if I were you. I mean, we can if you want. I mean, it looks nice. Yeah, I think it looks great. So what we're gonna do is I already talked to Saber Cabinets, so we're gonna set up a, a cabinet array uh, on this wall. Um, of course, we have to deal with the um, with the hot water heater. Um, depending on what we end up doing with an air compressor in here, um, maybe we'll see about doing a, a tankless. The problem is you don't, do you have gas here or is it all electric? I don't know. Oh, you have a flat, your cooktop is. Oh yeah, we don't, we, yeah, so I don't think we have gas. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I don't know how well electric um, tankless heaters work, so we'll have to look at that. But they're not like they're not super expensive. They're like eight or nine hundred bucks, something like that. Um, and in the grand scheme of what we're about to do to this place, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. We'll also do so they can store exhaust and parts that you don't need on a regular basis. We'll set up. Um, we'll do a, a garage ladder. For some reason, I signed up to come out here and do manual labor an hour and a half from my I house. Didn't even ask. He <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this because I'm like super excited to like make garages look awesome. No, this is gonna be super fun. Um, so again, we'll do saber cabinets. <coughs> we'll um, we'll probably do, and I'll show you show you guys some design on the on the computer. Um, but we'll probably do. We probably want to do multiple fans in here, three or four fans. Um, the issue is going to be. You know, on the block wall is that you'll see the wire. So we'll have to mount the fans rather high. So we'll probably do uh, here, Can here. Can we hide the wire if we need like one of those things that, you know, the things that kind of just stick on and they make it look nice? Yeah, well, since the, well, what'll happen is since the fans will be, they'll be so close to the ceiling, you know, so the fan will be, you know, up here, the fan will cover up sort of most of it so in my previous garage i'll show you pictures of it but in my previous garage it had um um you know, the wires just ran down so what we'll do is we'll have electrical outlets put in and it'll just run up the wall and and you know sort of sort of grab the ceiling so it, it'll look good it won't matter 
the big question is what are we going to do with the bikes and so he has them over here now i mean there's going to be all this room on the side too once yeah. they get all this crap yeah the, i love how much space there is he even though we have three cars in here because well, it's 30 feet open the doors open too yeah yeah, this is this is really cool. See, normally in Florida, when they design a garage, when they do the garage, well, one they won't have this cutout. So this is a over massively oversized three car. So normally this spot here, I was telling you about this. Normally it would start here, so they would just to break up. They would break just to break up the exterior because most people don't care about the garage; they care about the exterior of the house. So they'll to break this up, they'll set it back and then you'll lose a lot of space. Plus a normal garage is only 20 feet deep and this is 22, 22 and a half. So that's gonna be- My old garage was like 10 feet deep. <laughs> this is gonna be huge in order to be able to get the cabinet, have the cabinets and still have room and see, you I mean, you're parking super far in. You could even still park here and still have room to walk in front of the cabinets. The other- These lists are so short. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The mini. Yo, the other thing we'll do is um, is right here. So along this walkway, this will be rubber. So it'll be rubber tracks, like I had in my, yeah, yeah. like I have in my garage. So that'll be rubber, so we can stand in front and you know it's be comfortable. But you're gonna have more tool storage, and you know what to do with. I'm gonna need to get tools after this. Right. What are we gonna do with the trash cans? Yeah, I would put them over here, man. Yeah. I put them right here. Well, the only annoying thing about that is then whoever is bringing the trash up with us has to walk all the way over. Yeah, but then it doesn't stink next to your door, too. You know, pros and cons here. I mean, there's always the option, too, to put it over in that corner and put the bikes against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, they're kind of big for that. But I mean, Dang, these things are big. I can put them right here. I mean, there's always the option, too, leaving those outside and just getting smaller ones right here. Yeah. See, that? It's great how we have like three and a half feet here. I really like the idea of displaying the bikes. See, boom, you can see them right yeah. there. The only thing about that is just making the bikes anywhere near cars makes me so nervous. It, what we do, it won't go anywhere. Trust me. Yeah, but I'm stupid. I'll drop it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about myself here. Yeah, I wish that I could just drive here with my bike. Yeah, we have eight foot doors. That's not going to happen. So let's talk about a lift. So, well, it's not going to work. So you you aren't going to be able to do a four post lift in here. So to, to be able to park underneath it, well, I think we'll have two options. You know, option one will be a scissor lift, which would just be useful for um, you know lifting the car up. Uh, option two. What does it lift on? Does it lift under the wheels or the frame? Uh, the frame, so it'll go, you know, right in the normal okay. position. So what you do is you put, you know, it's uh, it's a flush, you know, it's, so it's flush to the floor, and um, and uh, and you'll put like little foam blocks on the jack points, and then it just lifts the car up. Um, so it you know it, it lifts like a there's called a scissor lift. But what we would have to do is we would have a contractor come out, they'd cut the floor, they'd cut out the floor, and then they'd re pour underneath where they cut. So we'd cut an H out. Mm -hmm. And so that way you wouldn't you'd be able to still pull the car in and park and it's not cool. you know, you're not driving over a lift. The problem is is a scissor lift you can't put anything under it. Yeah, well it sounds like I couldn't do that anyway. Right. Well, the other option is, I'll send you a link to it, the, there's some companies that make a drive-on lift where you drive on to it and it lifts the car and tilts it and then brings it back and flattens it out and then you drive underneath it. The problem is then you lose all this space over here. It's like a giant piece of hunk of metal, um, which, you know, if you wanted to fit four cars in here, it certainly will work. I'll, and I'll, I'll show you a video of that, but, you know, there's, there's a big piece of metal that sits here and you basically drive up onto it. it's almost like a wheelbarrow you drive up onto it and it lifts the car up i think that one's a lot of money yeah and then we'll probably do for the 75 sets of wheels that adam has <laughs> we'll do uh we'll do some wheel racks i think you know, either here or even there well, just because this is probably going to be the dedicated bay for the 240 yeah if i end up keeping it here even I don't really drive this that much, so I could always keep this at my warehouse. Yeah. Before we were keeping me out at the warehouse, but honestly, it, 
the paint's not nice enough to warrant keeping it this far. All right. Let's go walk around the side. You know, we could put a mini split in here. What's that? Air conditioner. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, you wouldn't want it there. You'd want it on the side. Like in the back? Yeah. Yeah, so basically what they would do is cut a hole. You cut a hole. What the heck is that? There's most of your water line in. I've never been back here. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I admire your dang, this is a long house, man. You're right? And it's so weird looking from the side. Wow, that's long. <laughs> It's a lot of concrete. <laughs> Dude, it's so ugly from that side because there's like no windows on the side of the house. I hate it. Yeah. Well, who cares? It's nice inside. <laughs> Dang, that's long. <laughs> I've never seen it from out here. Dude, it does look so big. <laughs> I admire your um, lack of uh, lack of detail orientation here. Well, I didn't build the house, Matt. Yeah, well, so what? You bought it. Dude, it had a three-car garage and no homeowners association. <laughs> That's all that I wanted. You have no idea how hard that is to find an Oviedo. Oh, shit. It's a pretty good location, too. Do you see how close it is to that? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. See, this, this bothers me so much. Maybe you have an idea for this. But I just feel like there should be a window there. It's the bathroom, so that's why there isn't. Yeah. But doesn't that just look weird? Yeah, you could hang something on there. That's why you need an interior designer to come out and tell you what this to do. This exterior mat. It's the same thing. They do both. So my thing is... I don't want to park a car behind the house and have to get rid of this tree. Yeah, if the neighbors. Yeah, because well, I'm assuming we'll probably eventually be fenced here. Once you grow up, you're not going to want to park a car behind the house. So. Well, I, once I grow up, I'm going to want more cars, Matt. <laughs> yeah, well, then that's what you got a warehouse for. Gosh, this garage is going to be so sick, dude. It looks, it looks so cool with all the little toys, isn't it? And it's going to look even better when you got beaming light. You know, you got those little lights are peeing out a little bit of light, and then we're gonna put like freaking not as much light as I did in my other one because you get a freaking headache. I learned my lesson on that. But oh, the best thing about this house, we won't, we won't tell you the street, but the number. Oh right. <laughs> I wish that was my address. Only you Porsche guys so would get that. that it changed it. Do you think that all this oxidation will come out? No, that's clear coat failure, but we can make it look a lot better. The hood's worse. <laughs> Check this out. Somebody just painted it with a paintbrush? No, the, <laughs> I put vinyl over it. It was like, oh, it was like black before. Good job on the vinyl there. It's not a... <laughs> hey, dude, for just red vinyl that I had laying around my warehouse, uh -huh. it looks a whole lot better than black. Yeah. <laughs> sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, obsessed Garage is just cringing right now. Yeah, sorry guys. This is why Adam always shoots the car from over here. <laughs> look how great this thing is. That's all right, we're gonna make it look good. We'll do videos, we'll teach your, teach <laughs> your audience how to detail. Hint. That's what we need. <sighs> anyway, this is gonna be sweet. I'm excited that we don't have to paint it. Yeah. There's a lot of walls to paint. That's true. Basically, Adam's gonna give me his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be broke.